Hi everyone, thank you for coming to watch today's writing video. Today is Wednesday, so we're going to go onto our week 10 writing slides and we're going to scroll down to our Wednesday slide. As you can see for today, you will need a device to watch the instruction video and view the check-in and you'll also need some pencils and paper. And the steps for today are to watch the instruction video, which you would be doing right now, to complete the check-in slides and to submit your completed work on Google Classroom. And when I'm done recording this video, there should be a video that appears in the middle of this slide here. So once you have gone into Google Classroom and found your assignment for today, you can go straight into the slides called Wednesday Lesson 3 Writing Check-In. So for our check-in activity today, we are going to actually be writing an information report. For your check-in activity yesterday, you would remember that you needed to complete a gathering information chart containing information about penguins and you used a video, a fact sheet and an ebook to help you do that research about penguins. During your lesson today, you'll be using that research you collected on your gathering information chart to actually write an information report about penguins. And if you do require more time to write this information report, you don't need to have it completed by the end of today. You do also have tomorrow's lesson on Thursday to complete this as well. So there is no urgency to have it all done today if for some reason you can't do that. Just know that you have some more time tomorrow. So if it's easier for you, you can spread the activity out into two parts so that you're doing some parts of it today and some parts of it tomorrow. Just do whatever is easiest for you and for your family at home. Now, on the next slide, you'll see a copy of the information report template and you might remember this template from when we did our information report lessons during the term. And you may copy this template onto a piece of paper or into your workbook that you're using at home. And if you need some help with that, you can ask a parent or a big brother or sister to help you organize this template onto your piece of paper. And you may also write the headings for each section of the report if it helps you to organize your sentences. So there's just a little note here again uh, for parents just reminding you that you may read the information on the gathering information chart to your children that they created yesterday, if that will help them put that information into sentences for today's report. But please just try and allow them some time to write the sentences into their report as independently as possible. So whether that means giving them some sentence starters as prompts at the beginning, that's completely fine. And then they might be able to continue writing the sentence by themselves. So on the next slide, I've got a template of the information report. And like I said before, you can copy the headings that are in each part. So we've got classification, appearance, habitat, diet, and interesting facts. And just remember to add a title at the top as well. So that will be the name of your report, which is the animal that you are writing about. So today we're writing about penguins. So your title should be penguins and you will write that at the top. Now, after you have written your report, you can draw a picture of your animal, the penguin, and label your picture. So remember, when we're making a labeled illustration of an animal, we draw a picture of the animal first, and then we draw lines coming out of different body parts of the animal to show the different physical features of the animal. And then after we draw those lines, we write down the, what the physical features are. 
So if you wanted to label the flippers, you could write the word flippers. If you wanted to label the two webbed feet, you could label those. If you wanted to label the black and white feathers, you could label those. And down here at the bottom of this slide, there is a video and you can press play to watch that video. And it is a little instruction video that shows you how to draw a realistic looking penguin. So if you're unsure about how to draw a penguin or you're feeling worried that you don't know how to do it by yourself, this video can definitely help you do that. And you can pause or stop the video at any time and go back to check that you've done the right thing if you need to. I've also included the information report checklist that you would have seen also in yesterday's lesson. And that is to just help you keep track of what you have completed and what you need to write into your report. Once you've completed your information report and your labeled illustration, make sure you take a photo of your work. So you might need to take two or three photos to make sure that you include everything you've done today. And then you need to go back to Google Classroom and submit your photos into the Google Doc attached to your assignment, which is called Wednesday Writing Check-In. So I've already got the Wednesday Writing Check-In Doc open here. As I showed you yesterday, you just need to insert your photos in this doc, just like you have been for your completed work every week. And remember to insert the image, you can go to insert at the top and then go to image and upload from computer or from whatever device you are using. Once you're done uploading your photos, you can come back to the slides and have another little celebration today because you have completed today's writing check-in. And this is actually your final writing check-in for the week. So congratulations, you've done a great job. And here's a reminder at the bottom to submit your assignment in Google Classroom to show your teacher that you're done. As I showed you in yesterday's instruction video, you'll need to make sure you click on the turn in button, which is the blue button on the right hand side of your screen within your assignment. And that will make sure that the teacher can see your submitted work for today's check in. Congratulations, you've reached the end of the check in activities for writing this week. Well done. I'm so proud of all the hard work you have been doing all term, but especially the last couple of weeks, I know it has been tiring to reach the end of the term. And I know you are all ready for holidays and you most certainly deserve that break. I just wanted to say thank you for staying on board for this long and for demonstrating persistence the whole way through. Persistence is when you try really hard and you don't give up. And Miss Coot and I have definitely seen a lot of people showing persistence throughout the term. So keep up the positive thinking and congratulations. Before you go and write your information report for today, I just wanted to remind you all that these check ins are an opportunity for you to demonstrate your best work by yourself. So don't worry about getting it perfect. Just remember to always try your best, even if there is a word that maybe you're not sure how to spell. We would love to see you try it by yourself first. And then if you really, really are stuck, you can ask a parent or a brother or sister for some help. But Miss Coot and I are just really looking forward to seeing what you can all do by yourselves because this week is all about being proud of your own work and showing what you can do. So thank you again for watching this video. Good luck with your information report and we'll see you soon.